been working on something, so let me show you. What? 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 What in the world? What? What? What you working on? Well, I'll tell you here a little bit more in just a second, but uh, basically what I'm trying to do is dry my air. So if you have an air compressor and you want drier air, then stay tuned. You might see something that you can do yourself and help yourself get a lot drier air. So, all right, stay tuned we'll be back. Now I'm gonna try to do in this video is to show how I can, I'm gonna try to take the temperature from right here, which right now you should be able to see it's at 50 degrees, right? Can you see that? All right, so that's at 50. So obviously down here, we're looking 51. How is it warmer? That's funny. So anyway, we're looking about 50 degrees. Uh, as the air gets compressed, it comes out and gets hot. So I'm going to try to modify this here at the end of all this. But we're going to run this for, uh, let's just run it up to 100 PSI or something. So here we go. <laughs> We'll pause it and then we'll be right back. There you go, get closer now. 181. 181 was the highest that I've seen there. I figured right here was gonna be the highest. If I was a betting man, I would have lost. It's actually higher here. So that is under the 200 degrees that those fittings would call for, but I'm not so sure I wanna she gets pretty hot so the idea is we're trying to lower the temperature as it goes in there because that's almost 200 degrees and you can feel the tank even warming up from that warm air blowing in so what i'm trying to do is to lower that temperature so, all right we'll be back actually i forgot so now we're going to bleed down all the pressure so we can take it all apart and then I can do the modifications that I want to do, and then we'll be back. Okay, last piece of the puzzle. Got the uh, compression fitting on this end. Got it flared on this end. Just got to plug and play. Okay, here we go. So, compressed air comes out into the radiator or chiller or whatever you want to call it. Goes down to a shutoff. You can't really see back there. I remove the handle just so nobody accidentally shuts it off and then there's also a water drain in it so drain the water but it loops back up and then 
down into it. Nice slow swoop. So the water will either come down this way or go down into that line and settle. So I can either drain the tank or drain the line. Now I'm curious to see what the temperature of the air going into the tank is going to be now. So here we go. Uh, I didn't check yet uh, for any leaks or anything. Or I did use shark bites. Shark bites say about 250 PSI, I do believe. We're only going to be going to about 120 or so. So we shall see. Hopefully nothing will blow off. But I sweat a couple of these ends on that copper pipe. Uh, I would recommend if you were to do this, which I don't recommend to do. But if you were to, I'd recommend to sweat everything and... You know, you don't want any, you know, the shark bites probably close to where it'll get real hot. But here we go. Let's see our temperature. Oh, yeah. Before we start, it's pretty chilly out. So, 47 Fahrenheit. 51. So, it's only a couple degrees colder today. But here we go. Now, in my true fashion, wouldn't it not be me if I didn't forget something? Uh, I was a little excited, and I forgot to tighten that fitting right there. So now I got it tight. Uh, it leaked out a little bit of condensation, so I'm going to dry that off. And then I'm going to bleed this back down to make it a fair fight compared to the short tube the way it was. So, Because if I ran it right now, obviously it's going to be cooler. Let's see what it is right now anyway, just to see. 50 degrees so it's pretty much right at starting point but i'm going to start all over so i'm going to drain it down and i'll be right back Tell it scared me. Son of a gun. I forgot she got up so high. No leakies, but what's her temp? 73. So we dropped that 
and cut that temp in half. And uh, even the air coming out seems to be a little cooler. Obviously your cylinder, you know, we're around 200 degrees on that baby. But uh, our air coming out is only 65, 70. It's about 72, 71, somewhere around there. But this is what's key. 75 going in so now we were going almost 200 degrees into that tank now you could actually touch that line and not hurt yourself compared to this other line which I touched with the glove one time you can see the remnants of that the whole idea though is you want to get some dry air the drier you can make your air for air tools is better for paint the drier your air the better for plasma cutter the drier the better um, I mean, there's just countless reasons why you would want drier air. Now, doing this, there's dangers and problems and, you know, stuff's got to move. So if you have it all built too tight, stuff's going to snap and crack and leak. So this is dangerous doing this kind of stuff. The reason they have it like that is because it's simple and you're not going to get it caught on anything. So this, this is a little more complicated, obviously, but all it is is the air is coming out. It goes into an old register from the house that I had, or a heat uh, radiator basically for the boiler. And then it goes down into a shutoff where I can drain the water and then back up and into the tank. So pretty simple process. But uh, anywho, we're gonna have some nice dry air now. So uh, time to get back to work instead of goofing around. All right, we'll catch you later.